Hi, this video is going to cover the software installation for Epson's S1D 13781 Shield graphics library. The S1D 13781 Shield is designed to provide TFT panel support for the Arduino Due. If you want information on either of the Epson device or the Arduino Due, please look at the and check out the links below. For the purposes of this video, we're going to assume that you have uh, the hardware set up already. Um, you should have something along the lines of what's shown in the picture that's being shown now uh, with a shield board, an Arduino Due, and a TFT panel. We're also going to assume that you have the Arduino Sketch ID installed. If you don't have that installed, then you want to go to Arduino's website, download it, and install the Sketch ID. I have the Sketch ID up here now and one of the first things we have to do is add board package support for the Arduino Due. We can do that by going to tools, we go into board, and then we go into the board manager and you can see that the Atmel package is already there but we don't have the Arduino SAM boards which covers the 32-bit ARM processor that is used by the Arduino Due. So what we want to do is pick the latest version and we're going to install that. So it's going to take a few seconds here, so I'm just going to pause the video while it uh, while it finishes. So the board package is now installed, so we can close that window, and we're going to go about installing the actual library. So if you go into Sketch, include library, add zip library, that's how the uh, package typically comes from our website. Go into wherever you've stored that, in this case here's the zip file, we're going to open that and that's actually going to install the library into the Arduino Sketch IDE so that you can use it. So there's a couple tasks we have to do after that because we need to set up the board or the, uh, the communication with the board. So we go to the tools and we're going to change the board to use the Arduino Due programming port here and we're also going to make sure that, in, again in tools, that the port is set for the Arduino Due. And we can see here it's COM5 Arduino Due programming port. It's exactly what we want. So let's open a example sketch. There are some example sketches included with the, um, with the library. So there's the library folder in examples. If we take a look, there's one that does a example demonstration of some of the features of the graphics library. There's one that uh, shows how to access the memory of the S1D13781. There's one that shows how to access the registers. And there's also one that essentially is a template for a new sketch that you might want to do using the graphics library. For this, the purposes of this, I'm going to use the register access example as it's nice and small and compiles fast. So we're going to open that. And I'll just move it into the right place here. So there's a couple of buttons here at the top you're probably familiar with already. The Verify button, which is used to compile, and the Upload, which will send our, our program to the Arduino Due. So let's compile it now using the Verify button. And it'll take a few seconds here. Yeah, it's compiled. So let's upload it to the Due now. And we can track the progress down here on the bottom bar, or the bottom window. And it's done. So let's actually open the serial monitor and we'll see what's happening. And you can see here that it's reading the registers and displaying the, the current values. So we'll probably have other videos, um, but for now that's all we have for this one. Um, what we'd like to do is just leave you at this and if you have any need for more information, you can go to the links on it. Thank you.